Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to RimWorld. My name is Derek and this is Alpha 11. We're going to be doing the episode 3 for our Let's Play in the Northern Shelf. So let's get started. Alright, and we're back. Let's see how we're doing right now. So we just left them. They're going to sleep. We built the uh, sandbags here around the turrets. So there we go. Let's go ahead and fast forward through the night. we got a lot of floor smoothing to do. Looks like she started up here. I think it's been Candace doing it so far. I think she started up here and worked her way down. So that's good. Looks like somebody shot out there. Got a little bit of repair work to do. I think it's Max who's going to end up getting on that. Let's see. Repair. Probably Max. Maybe maybe Harp if she's done growing and cleaning. She's not going to be done cleaning for a while. That There's a lot of cleaning to do. Let's see Candace is mining some. She's got some growing to do. Whoa. Why'd all that stuff just die? What the heck? Y'all just saw that, didn't you? There's a bunch of stuff there. It just died. That's not good. I didn't even get like a blight or anything. Well, we're gonna be in deep crap if that keeps happening. 70 Fahrenheit inside, so it's plenty warm. We have not very much food. Thanks to the game for telling us that. Let's make sure there's still nothing to hunt out there. Yep, the map is still quite barren of life. Other than our little settlement. Looks like it's actually Max getting on this uh, floor smoothing. Before he gets on the repairing. What does floor smoothing come under? I'm just going to remove that. He doesn't need to be that at all. How is it higher than two? It's not construction, is it? There. You can go repair that. Candace is having a mood problem. Because you're in an ugly environment. Well, you're in the middle of a mine, Candace. What did you expect? Come on now. Everybody's back to sleep now. That's fine. That was weird. That stuff just down here just died. We can't have that kind of junk happening, man. We don't have that much food to begin with. Just because it's not in... Why is this at 15? 5? Is it because it's out of the light? I guess that one's in the light. Well, not really, but I don't get it. Is this just going to die because it's out of the light? It says it's growing at a rate, so it's getting some light. Maybe this soil just really sucks, and so it kills a certain amount of the stuff in it. Man, this is crazy. I hope that doesn't keep happening. We're, <laughs> we're going to be in big trouble if all of our stuff keeps dying. Let's go ahead and just for safety purposes, go ahead and research uh, hydroponics. We can start getting on that. <clears throat> See how we're doing resource-wise here. You can always use some more steel. It's our primary building resource up here in the northern shelf, and we don't really have anything else we can build with. I'm just going to have a mine all of that, because I bet a bunch of that is steel. If not all of that is steel. Let's have at that. And then let's see, this thing here. I can have a mine a little more of this. If they mine out this fridge, that would be good. And if they'd actually haul all this junk away, that'd be good too. But I think I gave them a lot of work to do, so it's going to be a little while. Alright, compacted plasteel. That's good. That's nice expensive stuff, but it's going to cost us a lot to 
get rid of it. That's like two potatoes. Two potato. Let's make this stockpile a little large. Well, we'll leave it small because it doesn't need to stay there for that long. Go ahead and build a few more graves. If there's one thing I don't like, it's seeing the unburied dead. So we'll make sure we have a sufficient quantity of graves for all of the hopefully not our people who end up dying. Let's see how the beauty is here. Beauty's 1.0, 1.4. Like these plants don't really affect it that much. Uh, the snow is not great. The wires are certainly not great. I just don't like ice. Well, guys, I got bad news for you. <laughs> You're gonna want to start liking ice. Can I build wood floors on this? Not build wood floors over there. No, I can build wood floor in here. No, don't actually build it. Come on, man. How does that look beauty-wise? Ah. They like wood floors. That's good. If only we actually had a decent amount of wood, we might build some wood floors. Well, we can build a little bit of wood floor. Wood's pretty cheap even if we go buy it from the, from the store anyways. Just make a little bit of wood floor to kind of give our home that homely feel. But we gotta make sure we don't try to build it over any of our over any of our uh, plants. That wouldn't be any good at all. Yeah, so we got this plastic here. I'm gonna hold off on mining this for a little bit. Because uh, it takes a long time and I don't I really need it right now. I'd rather than mine up some steel and get all this junk working. And this is researching our hydroponics. That's good. These guys are constructing all these wood floors. Maybe that's why people in my other games have always been good on beauty. Is I really, really like. Okay, are these things just going to start dying now? Because there's no light. They shouldn't. Plants can survive in light for at least some amount of time. So I'm going to be kind of annoyed if all of our plants just die because of this solar flare. It's only going to last a day. A plant can definitely go a day without light. Now the freezing temperature that's going to be in here in a little bit, that I would believe if that kills them. What's the beauty like here? Zero. Oh, that was a really short solar flare. Why is that zero? There's a bunch of... Oh, because of minus ones and the ones and the mi Oh, wow. I actually managed to average out to zero. That's impressive. for our little entryway of wood floor. Let's go ahead and put a wood floor there too while we're at it. Looks like it is snowing outside. It's an interesting little deal going on here. We're gonna wanna get that thing nailed down reasonably quickly, but we're not in a huge hurry for it and we don't have very much steel anyways. So even if we wanted to grab it right now, we couldn't. He's going to be working on that plasteel for a while. There we go. He's got one. One of the three plasteels that has to get mined. Oh, this one's already pretty, pretty done. Somebody must have already started working on that. And boy, is he smoothing some floors, man. Look at that. Look at that. Candace and Red have terrible moods. Why do you have a terrible mood? Disturbed sleep. <clears throat> oh, come on, guys. Red. Oh, it's because we don't have food. They're starving to death. Okay, well, this might end up being a pretty short little let's play. <laughs> if everybody dies. <laughs> oh, man. That's going to be a problem.
Oh man, this is exactly what I did not want to happen. Alright, well, see, we got the medical beds. Candace, go rescue him. The other two are probably just going to go up to their medical beds, too. We're going to have to deal with this nonsense. Everybody hurting themselves. Candace, where are you? Okay, you're treating someone. Okay, good. That's fine. What are you doing now? Treating someone else. Or the same person, perhaps. <laughs> just stand on the other guy's head. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, how's Max doing? Is everything treated? Okay. She's treated. He's in the process of being treated. And we really need some food. So we still don't have any. How are these doing? These are 70%. Okay, guys, we're in big trouble here. Because the first person to break is not going to be the last person to break. Let's see if this pirate merchant has any food. Well, we could get them all to, to have beer for for dinner. I don't think that's going to do us any good in the end. We are in big trouble. We don't have any food. And everybody's kind of getting ticked at it. And I don't blame them. If you're hungry, it's not going to be very much fun. They're starving, minus 25. Hopefully we don't have anybody else break like he did, and we can just kind of hope for the best food-wise. Man, there's just there's no food laying around either. There's nothing to do here. Nothing to do about it. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. This is going to be a low time for a little Sleepyville here. Iguana, get out of here. We don't want you in our house. Oh, they're already all in our house. How are you doing, Hotshot? You're about to break again. Of course you are, because we healed you, so naturally you have to pay us back by losing your mind again. Max and Harper, not even healed yet from their little run-in with this guy going berserk harps feeling pretty bad cramped environment ugly environment cramped come on that's not cramped you plenty of space might be ugly in a little bit of pain of course you're in a little bit of pain buddy boy went berserk over there Alright, let's see about getting some uh, wood beds in. Only doing wood because we have some wood and we don't have any steel right now. <clears throat> Even though I said at the beginning I wasn't going to use wood for anything since we can't get it back, here I go using wood for things. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully they'll get on and build those. We can give them their own bedrooms at least. Should make them slightly more happy. <clears throat> All these jerks are leaving. What's that, like, shaking? Is that the world telling me we're all about to die? Oh, it's lightning, okay. I thought it was uh, a <laughs> game just telling me everybody's gonna die soon. Because I didn't give them enough food. Which is the case. 81%. I don't I don't think we're going to make it, guys. Unless the storyteller decides to drop us a uh, a food shipment, <laughs> we are going to be in trouble. Going to be in deep trouble. Maybe this was not the best spot to settle for the for the Iceland since we couldn't really get any food here. Maybe if all this stuffy down here hadn't randomly died, we'd be better off because it's 60% grown now. It would have been higher than that before. 81%. Wow, this is rough. This is rough. 
They're all still healing from their wounds. They're pretty healed, though. Candace, how are you doing uh, medicine-wise? Still at four, but you're pretty close to five, so if we get anybody else getting hurt, you'll, I guess, be good for that. You two deconstruct those two beds. Deconstruct those three beds. So we've now got three in there. Get a little bit of steel back. What are you doing, Max? Okay, you're deconstructing a bed. Hey, look at that. We can use that steel to finish off these uh, sandbags. <clears throat> Research screen. We need some geothermal power. To go along with our hydroponics. Let's go ahead and get another room going here. Start up our hydroponics room. They're still cleaning floors or smoothing floors. Everybody's got poor mood because they're all starving to death. There's no food to be had. 88% grown on that one. This guy's got a lot of stuff wrong with him. He's in extreme pain. You know what? He kind of deserves it. He did this to himself. He's in shock from all the pain. Oh, man. He's a nudist. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wish I'd noticed that earlier. I don't know if I would have picked to have a nudist. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and deconstruct that last bed. We've got all the ones we need now. What do we got? 20, 50, 75 roughly steel. 75 steel is going to be not enough to do much of anything with. Much of anything that I want to do with it anyways. Red are only minor, so that why nothing is getting done in the mining. Now oh, these guys got it for two and three. They're just busy smoothing floors. We probably should have just not had them all smooth all these floors. I really need someone to haul all that junk. Max, you're now uh, number one on hauling. So they're giving us plenty of visitors, but unless the visitors bring us tributes of food, that's <laughs> it's not very useful. They're just coming to hang out with us, and we're all going to be dead soon. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, they're still sleeping in these because they're injured. Shiv cut. 29, 38, 28. So they'll be cleaned up before too long. Max cleaning up some stuff. Exotic goods trader. Does the exotic goods trader have anything that we want? Where's Candace? Candace, come up here and see if they have any food. Let's see, they got a bunch of different stuff, but it doesn't look like there's any, uh, nourishing thought. Huh. I've never seen one of those before. And a kidney. That's not very helpful. Doesn't look like they have any food either. Great. Just what we needed. More not food. More not food to eat. Not eat. Where are these guys? Way down there. And they're going to wait a while. Oh, hey, if we're really lucky, they'll, uh, they'll run into these two jerks on the way down. Yeah, they could fight each other. That'll maybe help. Oh, these guys are splitting up too much. Man. There, attack, attack, attack. Oh, what? You guys are friends with each other? Harp, you're the other gunner down there, because you got a pistol. I 
Alright, you should be out of the range of out of the line of fire there. Let's actually move you back. Back up there. We'll let this first turret take the brunt of the force and we'll kinda sit back and more or less snipe them. Alright, here we go. They're coming around the corner. There we go, our own turret's hurting us, but let's try them. God, that guy's a bullet sponge. Look at this. He got lit up. There's only two of them. Okay. Oh no, there's not two of them, but this guy is, uh... He's not having any of this now. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a part of the party anymore. Come on, man. Where are you going? He's got a couple bullet holes in you. Alright, you guys. Unrecruit. Max. Come over here and strip this guy. And strip that guy. We got one meal, so there's that. Which is nice. One meal, which was immediately gobbled up by somebody. <clears throat> this guy's eating raw potatoes. That's probably not a bad plan. I'm not sure why you guys didn't do that earlier. If we had raw potatoes. Oh, these are all ready to harvest. No, 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 no. Who is our number one grower? Harp? Where are you, Harp? Harp, sorry, not bedtime. Uh, you're going to have to come harvest. And don't just harp. You're just going to harvest one, aren't you? All right, I'll let you wait till tomorrow. But you are going to harvest. Because we finally are going to have a little bit of food, and we might not all die, folks. Max the pile is healed. Everybody except for Red's healed. And Red started all this nonsense. And he is not even a little healed. God, he is beat to crap. He's also probably really malnutritioned. Yeah, he's really malnutritioned. And I'm sure that's contributing to very slow healing. Yes, make simple meals, good. Yeah, better off not just eating the stuff, but okay, bud. Alrighty, we're making meals. We're making meals now, folks. Everybody's now eating a meal. And we're already down to 50. <laughs> Harp. Can you, uh... No. What do you... No, I want you to feed... What are you doing with that? Okay, you're eating it. Great. So, red's still not going to get feed, fed. can't make you feed him. What's up with that? Oh, did he just eat? Oh, they already fed him. Alright, nice, nice. Good work, folks. Red's in a terrible mood. I would imagine so. He's just getting hurt, man. He's had to lay there for days. We're gonna be out of meals again before too long. How low is our power? Pretty low. We are... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. We're about to run out of power. Because I started that other one up again. Good God, man. Could anything else go wrong, maybe? Nine hundred watts. Minus 600 watts, minus 700 watts. And stuff turns off again. But not as much stuff this time. 1000 watts, 5 watt days, minus 400 watts. <clears throat> Alright, well as the sun comes up, we're going to gain some more power here. The whole system just flickers on and off here. Everything's browning out on us. Luckily this doesn't simulate actual... real world stuff. Otherwise everything would really be having problems with this. Alright, power wise, let's... get some more power going here.
Let's build that. And let's build two more solar cells. Although it's going to take them a while to get enough of the materials to build all that. It's the seventh hour. What are we at now? 15, 1600 watts positive. There we get 2000 watts positive. We have a lot of power when the power is flowing. When the sun's up, we are good to go. We are cranking out power. 3000 watts, and now it's going back down. And we only have 200 something stored, which is not nearly enough. This guy's too busy mining the wrong stuff. Come over here and mine that. So before too long, yep, that's going to drop back to negative, and we're now 3,000 watts. No, did you, you didn't even mine it. Did you just look at it and turn around? How much steel do we have? 77 steel? And I bet these solar cells take way more than that. 100, not way more, but more. Alright guys, well, with this fluttering power and the food crisis over for just the moment, we are going to go ahead and call it an episode here. Uh, remember to send me names if you want to be anybody. And other than that, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.